tell us what it's uh, like to have your uh, your film here at uh, Hot Dogs. Um, this is our third or fourth film we had in Hot Dogs, and so this is a, a really good start to getting your film off the ground. So we're really happy to be a part of it. Yeah, no, it's really exciting. It's wonderful to actually uh, see your film be seen in it with an audience as opposed to just on broadcast. So it's it's a, sort of the cherry on top when, after you've made a film. So it's really exciting. What inspired you to actually make a film about uh, prison? Um, how to Prepare for Prison is a story about um, how people react once they are given a sentence of, of incarceration. So we followed uh, three families as they were preparing for one of the family members to go to jail for a significant amount of time. So the idea came from, I guess, my own fear of going to prison when, when I was young. So, but, but, so we, we, uh, we basically followed three families and, and followed their journeys as, as, as they sort of prepared to uh, lose a loved one to the prison system. And uh, was it uh, very difficult to uh, follow these families, of course? Yeah, but it's not usually the kind of story that people are sort of happy to talk about. So I think uh, finding stories and maintaining access, I think, was, you know, really, I think, one of the big jobs of Matt. And uh, it took years to make and years to film because sometimes the prison system actually, or the legal system, moves very slowly. So every time you think the story's over, it actually continues. So in the end, we filmed for almost three years. Can you tell us a little bit about the uh, support you uh, received for this film? I think this was a Cornelia support. question. Support. Support. Well, we're supporting each other through the <laughs> film, but... <laughs> um, uh, uh, TVO was our broadcaster, and they were the first one on board, and they've uh, been great to work with and really supportive um, in terms of, obviously, funding, but also being patient because the film took longer than we anticipated. We also got funding from Rogers Documentary Fund, which was terrific to get a grant from that, and also Canadian Media Fund. And, um, you know, a lot of sweat equity from, from us, I think. <laughs> uh, so uh, tell us, uh, what should one expect when they come see your, uh, your documentary here at Hot Dog? You're going to see uh, real stories about real families going through some really difficult times. And I think, I think you'd be surprised. I mean, the idea was to have a, a empathetic look at people that, you know, you can say, you, you, we call criminals and that they're just defined by what they've done. And they re we realize that it's not quite so black and white. You know, the system and uh, justice is not black and white.